Before you can find the staffs in No Man's Sky, you have to complete They Who Returned to get the two upgrades that you need to find the staff, as you'll need them to reveal hidden camps, or like I've just done, take you straight to a camp. You can go to most locations and do a pulse and it'll reveal camps, as the little robot guys are scattered around the planet. When you've done a pulse, maybe do another one to reveal the Apophage terminal, and then you can inspect all the staff upgrades. There's something very interesting about these upgrades. Different locations around the planet have actually got different variations of them. So there's a little bit more work to creating a perfect staff. Oh, and I checked all the different missions that all the guys have got at the moment. And not one of them seems to be offering void modes. And yesterday I was getting absolutely tons of it. It's probably a random RNG system that's not perfectly balanced at the moment. But you could switch to creative to access the stuff for free which I'll do now so I can show you how to assemble a staff. When you interact with the terminal again, you select staff assembly and you select different items to get different looks. I'm not sure how many variables we've got at the moment, but it's probably quite a lot. And it does take up a lot of space in your cargo, but it is useful that you can get 10 of one type. Of course, I did a reload at the location to see if that changed anything. It did not. I went to a dissident system to see if there was any changes there. Of course, when you land near any location, you have to do the pulse to see if there's any robot guys nearby. Of course, I did the mission check at this location as well. In fact, I did it in quite a few locations. I'm going to check the terminal to see what staff options they've got. I noticed that this location had a completely different set of items. So if you want to build a staff by yourself, not only will you have to visit different planets, but you'll also have to visit different locations as well. But of course, I've got another solution for you. I went over to the Interstellar Index over on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below. And over there, I went to see what everyone had found and see if there was anything interesting. And something quite nice caught my eye. So here's the portal code with a convenient pause. It's quite a stormy planet with a little bit of sentinel issues. There's the comm ball over in the distance. Let's head there. As soon as you get to the location, remember to do the pulse to reveal the little robot guys. And these are the items I need to make the staff. So let's interact with the terminal. And as you'll notice, it doesn't quite have the items that you need to build that staff. But don't worry, I've got a solution. And yes, I tried to reload, that still didn't work. So I was flying about, pulsing, to see if I could see any nearby buildings. But then I settled on the polyphonic core to reveal a camp. A little side note on the polyphonic core thing, it sometimes takes you back to the same camp over and over again. Well, I'm at the location, and they do seem to prefer exosuit upgrade locations. But let's do the pulse to reveal the camp. Interact with the terminal. Now you can see it's similar theme, but different items. So let's interact with the terminal again so we can construct our staff. I went with a slightly different version there. And yes, the color's different. Those are actually my colors of my character. And that's the staff from the picture, but I'm going to change mine around a little bit. So let's assemble it. Yes, it's a lovely S-Class. So let's exchange it for my old staff and then head to the space station. At the multi-tool upgrade station, I'm going to add more slots. And here's the supercharged slot layout. If I don't say so myself, that is quite a sweet looking staff. And I hope this video helped you on your path to making an amazing staff as well. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.